Hilderic's pro-Roman, pro-Catholic policies, as well as his inability to put down the Berber rebellions, had made him deeply unpopular among his Vandal subjects. And so in June of 530, he was deposed and imprisoned by a man called Gelimer. He had proven to be a capable leader by winning several victories against the Berbers in the south, and was a great-grandson of King Geiseric. However, Gelimer would not reign for long. His coup d'etat against the Roman-friendly Hilderic had greatly angered Emperor Justinian I, who had hoped to peacefully incorporate the Vandal Kingdom into his empire. Since this was no longer an option, he decided to send an army led by Belisarius to retake the old provinces, or to restore the rightful King Hilderic to the throne, as Justinian would have put it. The Romans arrived in Africa in the beginning of September of 533. Upon landing, they were completely unopposed and immediately started marching towards Carthage. The reason why Gelimer wasn't standing there to oppose them was that the Romans had encouraged rebellions in Tripolitania and Sardinia, and so, not knowing about the coming Roman invasion, King Gelimer had sent most of his army to put down the uprising in Sardinia. However, on September 13th, he had gathered his remaining men and confronted Belisarius at Ad Decimum, about 15 kilometers from Carthage. Despite being outnumbered 11,000 to 15,000 men, the Vandals fought well and were close to victory until Gelimer found his brother Amatas dead on the battlefield. He said to then buried his brother, which gave the Romans time to regroup and win the battle. The following day, Belisarius entered Carthage, but was too late to save the life of Hilderic, who had been killed as soon as news of the imperial army's landing had arrived, and Gelimer had given up yet. Three months after his defeat, the force sent to recover Sardinia had returned, and together with them he once more confronted Belisarius, this time at the Battle of Tricamara. It began quite even, but ended in the utter defeat of the Vandals, and forced Gelimer to flee for his life. He had initially intended to go to Spain, where he hoped to find refuge with the Visigoths, but he was intercepted by the Romans, and instead chased to Mons Papia, on the edge of the Sahara Desert. There he was besieged until March of 534, when starvation among his followers made him realize that there was no chance of retaking his kingdom. And so he surrendered to Belisarius, and was sent to Constantinople to partake in the triumph. There, he was forced to kneel before the emperor and take off his purple robe as a sign of submission. During the triumph, he is also famously said to have uttered the words Vanity of vanities, all is vanity, from Ecclesiastes. He was then allowed to retire to an estate in Galatia, where he lived to the ripe old age of 73 and died sometime in the 550s. <laughs> 